book. <clears throat> so this is probably take one. I would die for Robert Sean Leonard. <laughs> Okay, so depending on how well the keying is of this particular setup, because I'm not filming this at night, therefore you will see like a difference with the light here. But yes, I would definitely die for Robert Sean Leonard. If you're my boyfriend and you're seeing this, I'm so sorry. I love you, but I would die for Robert Sean Leonard. Like, there's a difference. So it's only been like roughly two months, two and a half, since I've known the existence of a Sir Robert Sean Leonard, the man with three first names, as we all know him, or if you would like to be more accurate, Robert Lawrence Leonard, the fact that I found out his real first name later than I should have as a stand, it's disappointing. Um, aside from that fact, so yes, in this whole world of like dead poet society, he's my bias. <laughs> yes, yes. And my bias record would be Ethan Hawke. But disregarding this random fact, Robert Sean Leonard, if you ever see this, <laughs> please stop watch. <laughs> Robert, this video is not for you to watch. I've only known you for two months and you've lived longer than I have been alive. And obviously, like there's a there's an age difference between us that I have to address. I'm 24, you're 50 something, but in my heart you'll always be able. <laughs> but in my heart, you'll always be eligible for me to marry. <laughs> no, this is so bad. Um, yeah. So I'm 24. We have a like a roughly. Like. The best way I could describe this, you're the same age as my mom. Or roughly the same age as my mom. Ethan Hawke is the same age as my mom. But yes. How can I make this video without it seeming like I'm a total fucking creep? Uh, let's go back to the topic at hand. Robert Sean Leonard, I would die for you. Um, so I've only watched like a good handful, at least, of Robert Sean Leonard films. Just like... Just, just enough so that I am sure that I love him. Okay, so obviously Dead Poet Society first one. Immediately when I saw him, immediately when I first saw Robert Sean Leonard, I was like, wow, he looks a lot like my boyfriend. So like that should have been like an indicator that I would like him. But aside from that, I started like being really attached to his character, which, which if you have not seen Dead Poet Society, it's a bad, it's mm -mm, not advisable. Do not get attached. But yes, I think that was the whole point because he was like the main character. You're supposed to feel like the main character, therefore you're you're meant to feel this way. And that's why they have two main characters, one to spare. Uh, aside from that, he fell in love with this character and then he just he just does his thing and I'm left with no coping device other than two things. One, the fact that I know he's still alive in real life and that he has other films and two andrew perry i have a whole other video on that again if you're robert sean leonard do not watch my other videos but if you're not robert sean leonard or any of the cast members of the dead boat society go ahead watch my other videos whatever so the other coping mechanism wherein i find out that he has other films one of the first things i watched after that was much ado about nothing and goddamn, can I just say that fucking 90s missed out on a Robert Sean Leonard heartthrob face. Like, like you guys were over there banking on Johnny Depp. You guys were all talking about, I guess, Ethan Hawke or whatever. You guys were all talking about Ashton Kutcher. But where was the time where you guys just had, like, rabid groupies? Where were the groupies for Robert Sean Leonard? Like, Robert Sean Leonard. He deserve Look... Like if I since I'm on a green screen, fucking look, look at, look at him. You can't tell me that a, that Robert Sean Leonard wouldn't have made at least fifty eight thousand teenage girls put his wall like put a wallpaper of him on their fucking wall, like 
Like if I li- if I literally if I were a teenager at that time and I saw Dead Poet Society, boom, poster. If I saw Much Ado About Nothing, I would like beg for the poster copy of just Robert Shaw on its face. And thank God, okay, first of all, thank God I'm, I was born in this generation where I could just like get pictures off of Google because like Christ, Robert Shaw and Leonard not being more popular than he is because of this. It's a crime. Robert Sean and it deserves to be like everyone on Tumblr. Okay. Like, don't mind the fact that we have we all have Tumblrs. Don't lie. The only possible way that you would be this distracted and like obsessed with Robert Sean Leonard is three things. If you had a Pinterest Tumblr or you know where to search after Dead Boat Society. But yes, you're trying to tell me this man isn't capable of like being a dilf. Okay. Again, Robert Sean Leonard, stop watching. I love you. But like, I'm about to say something that will be completely inappropriate. But Robert Sean Leonard is a dilf. Everyone agrees on Tumblr. Everyone, everyone in your mom agrees that Robert Sean Leonard is a dilf. Ask any mom who watched Dead Poet Society or knew of Robert Sean Leonard. He is a dilf. That is so mean. Okay. Anyway, it's like, let's just say, if you don't want to search a term, do not search a term. I will say it for you. The term DILF just means you really, really love the guy. Like you like you find them like a possible partner. That's what it means. Okay. Okay, just another bonus thing. I know this is like a different outfit. It's another day. Uh I'm still editing the the whole uh Robert Sean Leonard video. Uh I just wanted to digress the point that was not really like touched upon. Uh, in Much Ado About Nothing, okay, specifically Much Ado About Nothing, English is not my native language. It's my second language, but I do use it way more than my native language. That being said, that movie, being mostly in Shakespeare in English, didn't really help me understand the movie that well. I, I know what was going on, kind of. There was some kind of like enemies to lovers thing, and then um, Claudio gets bamboozled <laughs> too many times. Um, that's the thing. Like the the first time I watched it, I was really enduring Claudio because like this is Robert Sean Leonard. I love his acting. He's great at acting. But like I really hate Claudio's character. Like for fuck's sake, there there's like logic and reasoning. You're really out here going to be bamboozled by your evil brother. Like like your brother's color palette is literally black. Everyone's everyone else is wearing blue, and you're out here telling me like you'll believe your brother. Like literally he bamboozled you once. He'll bamboozle you again. Aside from that, because like every like everything they say is like really like old English and stuff like that, the best I could do was just stare at how handsome everyone was, especially Robert Sean. Like, like that's the thing. I really don't understand why like so it's a movie with Keanu Reeves, Denzel Washington, uh, Emma Thompson, that lady from Total Recall, I think. Like you had an opportunity, guys, to lose your shit over Claudio. Like Robert Sean Leonard really said, uh, you guys don't have like a real life Disney prince. Here I am. I'll probably have a more intensive review when I watch more Robert Sean Leonard films. Like, I'll do another one of these. Like, don't don't think this is like the only one that you're going to watch. Yeah, go go ahead. Go back to the original one. Keep letting my my past self talk. And so yeah, I watched Much Ado About Nothing, and naturally I had to watch House. So I was aware of House when I was growing up. I just didn't know that Wilson was a a part of that show and two and that wilson was robert sean Lund. like I, I was pretty sure that that my perception and my idea of whoever robert sean leonard was did not exist until just a few months ago like how did he how did how did i not know of his existence until i watched dead boat society like <laughs> fucking christ so i'm not really a fan of medical dramas that's why i was trying to like put it off because i'm not really a fan of needles and like surgery but for robert sean leonard my god i will endure anything for you and that is why every fucking time because i'm only in like i'm only like 11 episodes in because i have work to do and like binge watching it's not the same as before i, I don't know why like i can't i can't binge like i used to but every fucking time the 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 opening credits show up like every fucking time like it would show like you Lori, and then other people literally like that one scene where like it's like in a brain like robert sean leonard's name shows up i will literally monkey how like <laughs> I, will, I will literally i will like jump on my chair like yeah i would cheer i would cheer i would like scream i would like 
I would definitely do that for every episode. If I if I if the Lord accepts who I am, I will do that for every episode. Because why why wouldn't you? Like goddamn. Like Robert Sean Leonard is the inventor of cheekbones. He is the pioneer. He patented cheekbones. Like one day he went up to God and went like, "Hey, check out this thing." And then God's like, "That's a good idea. I think I should give it to like Timothy Chalamet or something." And the fact the fact that Timothy Chalamet worked with Robert Sean Leonard the inventor of cheekbones being in the same like plaything as the current poster child for cheekbones so i have many mutuals that i don't want to name right now if you want to be if you want to be noticed go ahead comment down below so we all agree right we all love robert sean leonard and the fact that we respect him so much that we understand why he doesn't have a social media we understand why he doesn't do more movies because like like he prefers theater and all that stuff and like he's a very private person we respect you so goddamn much but it hurts because we pine we pray we are here like post anything robert if it's literally just one word like if you just say poopy i would lose my shit i would like just like type like like, just make an attempt at anything in social media. Like, even just like like a really bad photo of a cheeseburger. I will liter- legitimately save that. Make that my profile picture. I will make that my, like, entire personality of the week. Like, just for, just, just know that you have an impact. Look, like, I'm not even, like, the biggest Robert Sean Leonard fan yet. Because, like, I've yet to watch Swing Kids, which I, I might record myself reacting to it for the first time. I might, I, I'll watch Swing Kids for you. I'll watch In the Gloaming. I'll watch, like, Married to it. Like, I need, I need to find a way to watch all of his videos. Like, that's the funny thing. The fact that his, like, movies are not, like, blockbuster kind of movies. One disappoints me. Two, I wish that there was, like, an easier way for me to acquire them. And I will not say for legal reasons how i will get them i will find a way to get legal reasons but yes robert again if you're still here if you're watching i'm so goddamn sorry like i'm so goddamn sorry i robert bobby (laughs) sean lawrence hey lawrence (laughs) leonard hey we love what you do and we appreciate you so goddamn much the fact that you put a lot of your work into theater things that are not allowed to be recorded and have to be experienced live to be enjoyed fully and experienced the best way that it could i res i respect that i res i i respect you so goddamn much that even though even though my heart is very broken is very like it makes me wish that I was born in the in the other generation, but also I'm happy I'm in I was born in this generation so I can tell. Oh my god! Like it's like it's one of those things. It's one of those things where like it's fu- it's funny because like all these kids and they're like they're young stars and I'm out here um fangirling pining for a man that is twice my age. <laughs> oh god, he's twice my age! I just realized that. <laughs> Yes, see, I'm pining for a man that's twice my age and is still an amazing person. Like, I, I don't know what he does offline, and, like, that's a good thing. Because, like, that's respectable. Because, like, you don't, you don't need to... You, you do not exist for my entertainment. You do not exist for anyone else's entertainment. But you are God... You're so goddamn entertaining. You are so goddamn amazing. Robert. <laughs> just know that there's, like, a whole bunch of people. Not just Tumblr, I swear. Not just here on YouTube. There are many people who, in whatever age, you have touched them deeply, okay? And even if I wanted you to be in, like, more popular series, and even though I want you to get, like, more shows, I guess it's also kind of, like, greed in a way, because I don't want other, like, I don't want, like, the mainstream to, like, get you. Like, we don't want you to be that popular that, like, everyone likes you now, because, like, we liked you first. But you, you deserve... As much recognition as like you, you deserve more and just know that the works that you've done in theater and movies and like series it will not be for nothing like you you <laughs> yeah i still have to watch a bunch of other things maybe i'll get back to this video once i've watched swing kids and married to it 
and also last the last days of disco because like like a- anything anything robert sean leonard does with like any dance step because like because like robert sean leonard dancing singing acting my father living being perceiving So yeah, yeah. If you're, if you, yeah, I bought this green screen just for this, just for this video. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. That's like, I would make more. Yeah, but right now I have like work to do. Yeah, Robert Sean Leonard, please. I'm so sorry, please. Again, if you're Robert Sean Leonard or any of the DPS cast, if you are any of the Dead Poets Society cast, do not. Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you guys are so impactful. Oh my God. Also. I do not want you to think that I am like some kind of scrubby 24 year old. I ha- don't worry. I have like a I have a I have a degree. I have a job. Don't worry. I'm not like some kind of loner kid. It's okay. I'm fine. Okay. I'm in a loving relationship. I have a good amount of friends. I have hobbies. You don't have to worry about me. I'm really fine. I'm fine. So this is the end card. I think because I need like at least a minute. I need like at least a minute for the end card. So yeah, um, watch my Ander Perry analysis. <laughs> um, subscribe, I guess I'll put it somewhere here. So here's my Ander Perry analysis. I worked really hard for it. And I guess if you're not, if you're somehow not watching me for my DPS content, sure, watch me do art, I guess. If I'm, If I've already posted it. Yeah, I swear I have like a healthy relationship with how I perceive actors from Dead Poet Society, how I perceive a 50-year-old man. Because in my heart, he'll always be like roughly 30 and like marriageable. But like that's a, that's beside the point. Yeah, but I really, I, I really don't understand why there aren't more people who... This is so bad. You're <laughs> yeah, same. Have a great day. Robert, again, I'm so sorry. I guess it's like an acquired taste. Like he's like wine. I'm gonna stop.